All right, welcome back in. So we are going to do another little beautification build where we take this big chunky boy and slam it into, you can see, if you look carefully, I can still see both of the uh, tools right there hanging from the side. I can see the one on this side. I don't see a whole heck of a lot of smoke. There's a little bit coming up, but not too, too much. So it's not as... I don't know if you want to call it obnoxious. And I think it looks fantastic. But there's a way you have to do it so that you can see that flame in there. And then I went ahead and I put a uh, chimney on the back so that it looks more appropriate. The chimney is completely optional because you won't see the back. But if we go to the building tool here, I'm going to show you. So if I start with this wall... Let's go down to the correct material. There we are. So let's go like right. Let's turn snapping off. Let's go like right here. Now, if I immediately put this in there, you're going to notice there's going to be some problems. So I put it in here. First off, right there is as far as I can go. But if you notice... It clips out some of the fire. Now, if we look over here at this one, that fire is nice and vibrant. You can see there's depth into it. This one clips it out. And I actually can't get it in there as far as I want it to be. So what we're going to do, take that off. I'm going to take one chunk out of this. So we're going to take, we've got the middle, right? And I'm going to take one chunk. That's it, just a singular chunk out of it. So now if I place this down, not only can I go a lot further in and where I want to do this, I want to try center it left and right. But if you look to the right, you can see that to that second tool, the backmost tool, just coming out and clipping, just going in and clipping. I'm going to stop right there. And now you can see it's a nice vibrant fire. I can see the tool. It just barely is on this side of the wood. Again, there's not a whole heck of a lot of fire coming out, but now we have another problem. Oh, it sticks through the wall. That's easily solved by doing the developer trick. That's what they do on their buildings. They do too deep. Too deep in the walls, too deep in the roofs. It allows you to hide, I wouldn't say mistakes, happy accidents maybe, uh, but it allows you to hide things in the wall that normally would stick out just like that one did. Now, if we take that back off, you'll notice I'm probably not going to be able to build this because this thing is actually too wide. This no chimney here is a four wide uh, tapering to a two wide. And unfortunately, these are actually a little bit too long. But if you just do one, it doesn't work right. So... This actually requires, let's go up to this tool and I'll show you. So here you got, there's your four. Some of this would actually stick out over this chimney if I left it like that. So that's why you have to have the two deep. So we're going to go two deep. Now, if we're going to build the chimney, here's how we're going to do it. So I'm going to go over this tool. I'm not going to do it with the wrong material. Let's try that again. Flintstone. So we're going to do four and we're going to center the four. And we're just going to take this four up a little ways. And one more, I believe. So then we're going to go to two on the top. And I went two up, okay. So, that looks pretty normal like that. So now we have to go to the roof. Now the roof, in my opinion, stone shingle looks the best. The problem is if you just do one, look what it does. It gives you a 45 instead of this side angle. So you actually have to do two. It's unfortunate. It'd be, whoops. It'd be cool. If it would allow us to choose the merge when you're doing a corner piece like that. But since it doesn't, 
you need to do two pieces. But I think that still looks quite nice. And it looks very appropriate to what the house is. And it looks very nice. So that is how you can inset this big chunky boy and allow you to do... Now what I did on this other one is I also did this for some better look to it. I set this in one, like that, on both sides, like that. Well, I squeezed in a little bit too far, but that gives me a little bit of a depth here, so it makes more of a hearth feel, I mean, this is a hearth we're placing, than just a, a blank wall. Put some uh, candles on it, I think it looks great, a little seating area. Obviously, you would build this out into a home, and putting a rug directly in front of a fire is a terrible idea, but, you know, we're, we're role-playing here. Uh, last thing you could do if you wanted, and this, this would take some serious effort, you could sink this down to into the ground right up in front of this. I don't know that you're going to be able to get it with that in place to make it as the gu the guard, the metal guard for for it, it'd be really difficult to manage because you're gonna have to go down, and I don't know if this 3D asset will go in with that 3D asset there. It, it'd be a challenge. Anyways, that's what I wanted to show you today. I hope you guys enjoy and happy building. <laughs>